Lesson 9, Laws of Algebra of Logical Statements, Distributive Laws. That is law number three, A, part of it, P, and bracket open, Q, or arrow, bracket close, equal to, bracket open, P, and Q, bracket close, or bracket open, P, and arrow, bracket close. You see, P, and opening this bracket, you have it in this form. What separates or what connects Q arrow is O. That is what you have here. Separating the first compound statement and the second compound statement. So this is the part we want to prove now. To start with you consider the first part and you need to get Q or arrow that is column head 4 then you compare it with column head 1 that is statement P using the connective and for column head 4 you have Q or arrow for this compound statement, the outcome is false when both are false. Otherwise, it is true at every other point. So we move to the row view of it. Number one, Q is truth, arrow is truth. So, the outcome is truth. Number two part of it, you have TF. TF is T. Number three, you have FT, that is T. Number four, FF, that is F. Number five, TT, that is T. Number six, TF, that is T. Number seven, FT, that is T. Number eight, FF is F. You move to column head five. To achieve that, you are comparing column head one with column head four using the connective and in that connective the compound statement is true when both sub statements are true so let's relate column head one and four using and for number one row view p is truth q or arrow is also truth so the outcome is truth we move to number two T, T, that is T. Number three, T, T, that is T. Number four, T, F is F because you are dealing with and which is true when both are truth. Number five, F, T, that is F. Number six, F, T, that is F. Number seven, F, T, that is F. Number eight, F, F, that is F. We proceed to the second part and we start with column head seven. We are to get P and Q. So you compare columns head one and two. That is statements P and Q using and noting that the outcome is true when both are true. For number one, row wise, T, T. For P, Q, you have T. Number two, T, T is T. Number three, 
TF. That is F. Number four, TF. That is F. Number five, FT. That is F. Number six, FT is F. Number seven, FF is F. Number eight, FF is also F. You move to column head eight. That is P and arrow. To achieve that, you use column head one and two. The connective is and. Both are truth when the the outcome is truth when both are true. So number one, row wise, you have T T. That is T. Number two, you have T F. That is F. Number three, T T. That is T. Number four, T F. That is F. Number five. T F number three you have T T that is T number four T F that is F number five F T that is F number six F F that is F number seven F T that is F number eight F F that is F you move to column head nine. In this column head, you are comparing column heads seven and eight. Columns head seven and eight using or. In that connective, the compound statement is false when both are false. Otherwise, it is true at every other point. So for number one, you have T, T. For seven and eight, that is T. Number two, T, F is T. Number three, F, T is T. Number four to eight, you have F, 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 or true. So you have F. The next one is 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 F. At the end, you compare both sides, left hand side with the right hand side. You will observe that the outcomes are the same. This shows that the law of distributive is true for three sub statements. Be part of this law. You have P or bracket open, Q and arrow, bracket close, equal to bracket open, P or Q, bracket close, and bracket open, P or arrow, bracket close. We start with the first part where we need Q and arrow. That is column head four. You relate it to column head one using the connective or in order to get column head five. Then when we come here, we start with this column head seven follows by this column head eight. You relate both using and that is column head nine. Let's start with column head four. The compound statement is Q and arrow. For that connective, it is true when both are true. We use columns head two and three to get four. So TT, you have T. Number two, TF is F. Number three, FT is F. Number four, FF is F. Number five, TT is T. Number six, TF is F. 
number seven ft is f number eight ff is f we move to column head five that is column head one with column head four using the connective or in that connective the outcome is false when both are false otherwise it is true at every other point so for number one you have t t for column head one and four the outcome is t that is true number two t f you have t number three t f is t number four t f is t number five f t is t number six f f is f number seven f f is f number eight f f is f we move to column head seven that is using columns head one and two under the connective or the outcome is false when both are false so t t there is t number two t t is t number three t f is t number four t f is t number five f t is t number six f t is t number seven f f is f number eight f f is f you move to column head eight you use column head one and three under or the outcome is false when both are false so t t is t number two t f is t number three t t is t number four t f is t number five f t is t number six f f is f number seven f t is t number eight f f is f to get column head nine we are using seven and eight the connective is and which is true when both are true so from number one to five they are all true so you have t followed by t followed by t followed by t followed by t then number six t f for and it is f f t it is f f f it is f at the end you relate the two sides and you will observe that the outcomes are the same this also proves the second part of the law of distributive to be true end of lesson nine